My prediction is that U.S. is definitely going to be going for the win and the energy is going to be more with the U.S. Simple mean the crowd is going to be behind the U.S. It's here on home soil and I mentioned that over and over again. You playing at home gives you an advantage whether you like it or not. You know, and the fact that these guys, as you look at the team, they're young, they're hungry and they definitely want that win. I know Canada, you know, could prove to be, you know, that team that could just surprise any team. But on tomorrow, I think that the U.S. is going to just walk in that game with a mindset. And the fact that they have beaten Canada 4 to nil in a series, that is definitely going to be on the mind of those cricketers in um, Canada. Coming. As I said, man, this is this is T20 cricket and anything can happen. So it's a team that wants it more, will go out there and deliver. And Canada has what it takes. They're short, they've thrown it throughout the years and what they're capable of doing. Um, they've got some re really good players such as you know, Aaron Johnson. They've got uh, Navid Dawal, great player, Jeremy Garden as well. Um, Ravinda, Ravinda Singh. Those are some some top names to look out for in this Canada T20 team. And um, if, once they go out and they play the brand of cricket that they can play as well, anything is possible. <laughs> With just hours to go before the start of the ICC T20 Men's World Cup, it is safe to say we are in the final straight. And although we don't know who's coming forward, somebody has to come forward. And it's not <laughs> the big wicket. Welcome to another edition of At The Wicket. On the eve of the World Cup, the open up against the US and Canada. I'm your host, Cavalli Arnold, and with us, USA correspondents, Ian Thomas and Lenore White. Welcome, guys. Thank Fantastic. You. Great morning. Great morning. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be yeah. on here. Yeah, it's good to see where you are, bright and sunny, both of you, outside enjoying it, all of that. It, it wasn't so yesterday, um, just looking back at what, what transpired in Dallas, um, you know, the rain. Um, Ian, I must ask you about that. How much, how concerning would that be to have those rains in Dallas and be looking at the start of the World Cup in, in a matter of hours? Well, I'll say definitely um, that would have affected the players as they would have you know, been looking forward to get this final um, warm-up before going into a big match. As I say, one of the biggest match in their lifetime, these young players. You know, this is the World Cup and the World Cup is now on US side. So definitely the US team especially would have been looking forward to have that workout before going into their first game. So I'll say that will affect them in a way. But mentally, I believe that these players are pretty much well prepared. They're prepared for the staging of the game. And it's been years in preparation. And as a result, I think mentally they're there, you know, match ready. I also think they're there. So not playing this one game really shouldn't hurt them that much. And another thing I want to say is that the U.S. recently came off a very good series with them and Canada where they won you know, four, four to nil, which should have given them a big boost. And i will say they're going to have the majority of the crowd support here. So, you know, despite not having that game, I think the, the additional benefits coming from home soil, you know, and the spectators that's going to be there in the, the stadium, you know, feeding from that energy and the fact that this is on their home soil. These guys are really pumped up. So I'm looking forward for them to still put forth a good performance despite not being able to play that warm-up match. Yeah, I don't know what the weather is like for tomorrow, but in Dallas, um, if, if it rains tomorrow, how concerning would that be? Um, from both teams' perspective? I would say this would be very concerning reg regarding the fact that they probably be ranked at the at the, the two at the bottom. You know, if it's looking at people ranking somebody, not really taking the game of cricket into consideration that you're playing with a bat and a ball and anything can happen on a given day. But if you're looking at the ranking overall, these would be two of the lower seated in terms of the ranking. So either of these teams would definitely want to have a win. You know, and that win would make a difference. So if you have a rain out game, that may affect them significantly, either of the team. So, you know, that may be a little concerning. And that's why, man, I love Florida down here. We have in sunshine, you know, wish we could just lift this um, broad stadium and put it there for them to play on and then re return it back. <laughs> yeah, um, if, let me let me just take a quick glance at, at, at the time of the game. The time of the game for tomorrow is 7.30 p.m., which is good because rain is projected for, for tomorrow in the morning, though between 9 and 11 a.m. in Dallas. Um, we would hope that the rain gone by then and everything is, is good to go for the start of the World Cup. Because I, I would assume that these two teams, as you just said, Ian, need the points. It, it can't be shared. If it's shared, then they may be looking at 
you know, not having a chance of getting out of the group, in a group with Pakistan and, and India. So, um, Lenoir, you would, have, you would know the team, I um, mean, the US team quite well, and, and how, how much quality is in the team. Looking forward to maybe upsetting one of those big teams and maybe getting to the second round. If, if it rains tomorrow, would it be curtains for them, but in your estimation? Absolutely. You know, they're coming off that terrific momentum. Uh, you know, they have won the last couple of series and games that they have played against Bangladesh and um, Canada. So they would want to come out and display good cricket at the highest quality. And, uh, you know, given the opportunity, if it presents itself, uh, rain does the effect or affect that, the, the, the start of play or the game. I think that, you know, they would have a great opportunity of, of uh, coming out of that group. In the fact, uh, they have some really, really good, talented players in their team, um, such as one of Stephen Taylor, a prolific Left-hand batsman um, plays cricket here in South Florida. Also, Aaron Jones. He hasn't got the best uh, series in the last two series in terms of getting runs, but we know what Aaron Jones is capable of doing. He's, he's a magnificent player. And once he get going in this series, I I, I do believe that US can go through to the, the second round if they play the, the, the sort of cricket that we know that they can play. And you know they play each ball on the merit and just respectfully in their approach. Yeah, I like I like I like the look of the US team. Um, Ivor Wan has been saying. Given the group that they're in, there's a possibility of them getting out of the group. A lot of people may sleep on the U.S. team, but we have to look at the dynamics of the entire group. Um, we know Ireland is a formidable team, but the U.S. have beaten Ireland in the past. Uh, the Canada, coming off that 4-0 um, series win, they'll open the, the tournament with Canada tomorrow, against Canada tomorrow. Pakistan is a team that's in turmoil con um, at the moment, currently. Um, so much around Pakistan, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in subsequent um, videos, uh, or subsequent um, at the wicket editions. And then India, India, yes, you expect India to get out of the group, but then you might be looking at maybe trying grabbing that spot from Pakistan because they are a bit hot and cold. And they played yesterday in that in that warm up that, against England. I wouldn't call it warm up; it's a series. Yeah, in that series against England, it's really a warm up in a sense. Um, and they, they, they were easily dismissed um, by by England. So they look like they can get out of the group. And I think if, if things open up for them, it looks quite quite well. Absolutely. Like? Once, yeah. now, I was saying absolutely. Once they play the brand of cricket that we, we've seen them been playing over the last couple of series, they we know Pakistan, they're, they're very inconsistent when it comes on to, to, to T20 cricket. We know that they're a class team and some class act players, but when it comes on to finding that consistency and big tournament, we, we have seen it throughout the years that, that they can fumble a bit and I think this is an opportunity for US to grab with both hands and they have what it takes. They have the bunch of the players, they have the talent, such as, you know, we mentioned Stephen Taylor, Aaron Jones, Manat Patel, uh, Jesse Singer as well in the bowling department, it's Ali Khan, we can't forget him as well. It, it, they have they have a full pack team to, to, to really upset any given team and any given day and cricket is playing on the day so it's, it's all about who goes out and, and, and put more pride and, and, and put more into the game and who wants it more. I, I think they have a great chance and a great shot of winning. And, and, and Dr. Thomas, I have to ask you about maybe what's the, what's the feeling like around um, people um, talking about the US team and so on. Are, 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 are the fans maybe looking at, oh, it's a possibility of US getting out of the team? Are they excited about it? It's something they see happening or they just think that Pakistan and, and India are too, too strong? Dr. Thomas? Man, I want to tell you this, the feeling here and the energy here in the U.S., it, it is amazing. And I'll just tell you this, I've been and I'm going in the street, I've been asking a few questions in terms of the U.S. cricket, especially when you go into like Broward, where you have a lot of Islanders, Jamaica, and it's a mixed community. You know, you have Australian people from Africa. In this mixed community, you'll get the feeling that, you know, they believe that the U.S. can definitely pull something off and create some upset. But then I want to take it to the field here. You know, on the field, the players, the guys who play cricket here in the U.S., I should tell you, I've never seen so many centuries being made over the last couple of weeks than these guys, you know, being hyped up because of the fact that the U.S. is, is, is coming. They're like, man, the cameras are on. We got to perform. And these guys you know, are playing 100 behind 100. And later I can tell you, you know, Anthony Toscas had 100. We have Sean Finley, who we know well, that played for Jamaica and the West Indies. He had 100. We have guys like um, Ibanks, who have 100. And... We have guys like Ricky down here. So I'll just let Roy tell you more about it because he's pretty much around it. So he'll give you his, his part here too. And and that's one thing that we have spoke about, Ian, you and I, in terms of uh, cricket in, in, in Florida, not just in Florida, but in the States and in the world. 
in terms of the talent, we have so much raw talent here in South Florida and across America as well. But my factor when it comes on to that is the infrastructure that is put in and we need more, you know, people coming in on board and, and financial support supporting these young talent because there's a lot of young talent here that's just going to waste. And if you look at the, the I'm not gonna say it in a, in any type of way, but you look at the Indian community, they have investors that invest into their, their young players, their grassroots players. And if we can have that here in the West Indian community investing more into the talent that is here, we could we, we could have a lot more support. Not, not not saying there's not a lot of support here in America. But we could have a, a lot more support for the Caribbean boys and you know the, the subcontinent, which is India, Bangladesh. We have quite a few young talent here in South Florida, Pakistani. You know, once when we speak about talent, there's, there's quite a bit of talent, but we just need them to get on a platform where they're being displayed and you know being seen. Yeah, we we will. I, I like I like all of that with all of what's happening and the buzz that that it is creating. Just having the work of coming to to the US, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in in in, in as as time progresses. But let's just look at the teams now lining up. The US versus Canada, as you said, 4-0 um, series win just recently. So the US will be going in as favorite, heavy favorites in this in this match. However, it's a tournament. Should the should the US take them from take the take the Canadians for granted? What um Doc, what's your take? What's your take on that? Well, as a cricketer myself, you know, I, I went to St. Elizabeth Technical High School, a very good cricketing school there, and coached by Juna Bennett, who is also a part of the senior um, team in terms of the Jamaica organization there. And he told me once, he said, you never take an opponent for granted because they're coming in and they're coming in hungry. And I know this would be the same type of mindset of these players. It's not like they're just playing cricket for the first day. You know, they know that just in the midst of even a single over, if you just lose focus, you could actually lose the game. So I think they're not going to be taking this game for granted in terms of the fact that they have beaten Canada in the past. They have um, basically been victorious many times more than you know losing a game against them. But also the fact that they know it is cricket, the ball is round and anything can happen on the day, I don't think they're really going to take it that lightly. And I have the opportunity of take, talking to a few of the players. You know, when I talked to Ali Khan the other day, he said, man, he's basically wearing the, the U.S. flag on his shoulder. You know, so these um, players like Steven Taylor also, you know, when you talk to them, these guys are really like they have U.S. at the forefront there on their chest. And they're walking proud. They're not going to be going out there and taking anything for granted. And to, to be beaten, you know, these guys, they are going in and they're going in for the win. But Canada on the other, on the other side, they're not going to sit back either and just think the U.S., you know, you beat us once, you beat us twice. You're going to commentate this game from us. No, they have something also to prove. This is a World Cup. This is the biggest stage of the cricket. So it doesn't matter the games in the past. It's going to be the game on the day. So tomorrow is going to be a big, big game for both teams. You know, and I say, that may the better team win. You know, but it's a lot of at stake here for this game. And you know, opening this World Cup, it's going to be an interesting series. And this Group A, it's going to be very interesting because USA will have to squeeze out one of these top teams. Yeah. Um, and, and I must ask you, Lenny, if when you look at the team, the construct of the of the of the US team, and we saw it pop up on the screen um, earlier. I don't know if we can get it back. But when we look at the construct of the team, you know, adding the likes of Corey Anderson to that team, um, so much experience. Um, we have to talk about him and the likes of Ali Khan, who is he didn't play in that Canada series, and that is why I said adding him to the team. He is is so experienced. The same with the CPL. These these players have so much um to give to give to give to the team. How how impressed are you about the team, the strength of the team, um, especially the likes of Ali Khan, Corey Anderson, and some of these players who would have played age group cricket with some of the, the top liked teams across the world? I'm 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 absolutely beyond impressed with the team and the selection of the team. Um when you look at the, the likes of Ali Khan that has played cricket in the IPL, in the CPL, and, and also at a minor league and major league here in America. Um, I want to look out for in the bowling unit. Very, very dangerous, very skilled campaigner. Corey Anderson, speak about his experience and his composure as a senior player in the team. Um, those are two players to look out for in the US team. And they they, they, they know what the task is. And uh, hopefully they will go on the day and deliver for US. Also, Jesse Singh, you can't let him out. When you look at the players such as Chennai Trydale, who is in the reserve for the United States team, it, it shows that there is some what compact in the bowling unit. you got Steven Taylor as well, that bowl is off break quite effectively when given the opportunity. So these these players 
they have what it takes and they just need to go out there on the day and, and display that brand of cricket that we've seen them in playing over the last couple of series. And I, I would put my money on them to come up this group. Yeah, and when you look at, I guess they have some power as well. We, we can't look beyond that. The likes of Aaron Jones, as you said, the likes of Andre Scouts, Corey Anderson will bring the, bring the power. And, and I like, I like the, the level headedness of the captain. Even if not say power, he's there and he'll hold the innings, innings that we know, we know what Stephen Taylor will give us at the start and how he's sing down the order. So it's a, it's a well balanced team. You must, you must be, when you look at that, you must be saying, if they get things right, they really can upset these big boys. And they will, they should take um, the strike of Canada if they play at their best. Absolutely, no doubt about that. No doubt about what what they're capable of doing. It's just about going out there and execute that game plan that they have been working on throughout the last four or five years to lead up to the World Cup. And if they execute that plan and they work towards what they've been working in the training in the training ground and whatever the coach has said, if they stick to that drawing board, they will be successful. And I have no doubt about that. Yeah, and we've, we've spoken about the Canada, the US team, but just to, just to look at the, the, the Canada team, Lenny. Um, yes, they start behind the eight ball, but if they what what do you see of the Canada team that you know if they should get things get things right? I, I guess we know um, a few of these these, these players um, quite well would have been playing um, leading and, and starting with their captain um, Zafar. Um, leading, leading the way, but we know a lot of these players from the Caribbean and so on. And these guys have been playing. Um, if they get it right, can they can they upset the kind of um, US tomorrow? Well, if, if they get it right, that's that's a great way to put it. Um, you know, this is T Twenty cricket, and we have seen it. We have seen the the likes of uh, Ireland making big upset. As I said, man, this is this is T20 cricket and anything can happen. So it's the team that wants it more will go out there and deliver. And Canada has what it takes. They've shown, they've thrown it throughout the years and what they're capable of doing. Um, they've got some re really good players such as you know Aaron Johnson. They've got uh, Navid Dawal, great player Jeremy Garden as well. Um, Ravinda Ravinda Singh. Those are some some top names to look out for in this Canada T20 team. And um, if once they go out and they play the brand of cricket that they can play as well, anything is possible. None of these teams should be taken lightly. I think it, it doesn't matter the name or where, where the, the country they're coming from. They have what it takes, and they've shown that they have what it takes to be at the World Cup. And any of these teams can pull out major upset. Yeah. Um. Before we go, um, I just want to start to look at prediction, um, for the game tomorrow. I, I think it's straightforward that. Um, U.S. starts favorite, but um, do you think it will be a massive win for the U.S.? Do you think Canada can upset them, or will it be a tight game? Um, Ian, let's start with your predictions first. Well, my prediction is that the U.S. is definitely going to be going for the win, and the energy is going to be more with the U.S. Simple mean, the crowd is going to be behind the U.S. It's here on home soil, and I mentioned that over and over again. You playing at home gives you an advantage, whether you like it or not. You know, and the fact that these guys, as you look at the team, they're young, they're hungry, and they definitely want that win. I know Canada, you know, could prove to be, you know, that team that could just surprise any team. But on tomorrow, I think that the U.S. is going to just walk in that game with a mindset. And the fact that they have beaten Canada 4 to nil in a series, that is definitely going to be on the mind of those cricketers in um, Canada coming out to face the U.S. again. They're going to think about it, no matter who you are. You know, those things do affect us. And it's how well they can deal with those things that's off the field already and coming and showing up at that U.S. team as strong as it is. It, it's going to be a challenging one. So, therefore, I'm going to put my money on the U.S. All right. Sounds like you're a betting man. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know if we have, if if we still have, 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 have Lenny with us. Uh, I'm not seeing him up here. I don't know if we still have Lenny, but um, I'd like to know his prediction. But before he before Lenny, if he's still here. Let me just say, I expect the US to, to take it, take the game, because they would, would have their side set on, on having a chance of getting out of the group. And in order to do so, they have to take the take um, four, four points from Canada, they have to try and take four points from, from Ireland, and then try and pip the likes of, of Pakistan, which I believe has so much inner turmoil, and if you can crack that, then there, there's something there. There's something there to take, given the issues around captaincy and who don't want to take the, the vice captain and all of that. But that's something we'll talk about more when the US faces up against against Pakistan in that sort of preview. But it, it's looking good, and I expect US to take it. 